Hi, I'm Zach. And I'm Amanda. And today we're going to guide you through install for our columns. If you have a post that is 8 inches or smaller, you're going to want to see our pillar panel video. If your post is 8 inches or larger, it will be a column and we're going to show you how to do that today. So here's everything you're going to need for your column install. You're going to need a drill, your screws, uh, always recommend having a level, um, as well as a chalk line if you've got one. Uh, we've got our touch up paint kit, the color match caulking, and if it's an exterior install, you'll be using this adhesive on the back of the panels, and you'll be using the big stretch where the panels meet. We've also got our caulking gun here. With every genstone project, we always recommend doing a dry fit first, meaning you'll come put the pieces together, see if you like the look. The reason being is because even if they're the same piece, there we have two different moldings for corners, and they're also gonna be painted different within those moldings. So we just wanna make sure you really like the design, where, which colors are going where when you're doing the dry fit. So how we do columns here at Genstone is we actually use our outside corner pieces. They'll fit together to make a 17 inch square post. I would always recommend getting with a project coordinator if you're doing columns because they can be a little bit tricky to figure out the materials list. The column that we're doing here today is going to be a 17 inch square. Now if your square is not 17 inches, if it's smaller between 8 and 17, you've got a couple different options. You can either fur out your column to build that 17 inch or you can cut your corners down and recreate that shiplap like you can find in our exterior install video. If for instance it's a little larger than 17 inches, like we get a lot that are maybe 24 inches, get with the project coordinator to figure out how many panels you would need to fill in those gaps. You cut your panels down, fill those gaps with the corners, and boom, you're done. All right, now that we're about to get started here on our next row, we wanted to give you a couple key tips. First thing is first, when you're installing the corners, make sure that you have them really tight together when you're putting in the screws. And if you have it to where one corner is too tight that you can't fit in the next one, just back the screws out slightly so that way you can make sure you get the corner to fit in behind it. Um, next thing as well, we wanted to remind you that this is an exterior install, which most columns probably will be. Uh, make sure you're using adhesive on the back of the panels where it meets the surface, as well as the big stretch caulking on the shiplap portion of the panels. That way it keeps it weather tight. So for our column project here, we've planned it around the size of our corners. If you're planning to do the same, what I would recommend is having your box come up 45 inches. That'll be right to where the stone face ends. And then we'd recommend going 16 and three quarters by 16 and three quarters, just making sure you've got enough room to make it extra tight. It doesn't matter if your column is 45 inches tall. We can make whatever size work here at Genstone. Our pieces are very customizable. If you have a column that's shorter than one of their corner pieces, like let's say it's 40 inches tall, comes up to about here. What I would recommend doing is attaching your corner pieces all the same, just like we did here, and then using your post as a guide to cut where the stone is gonna be ending. Or you could also measure and cut your pieces before you attach. So we've got all of our corners on here. The last step is to add your top. So you've got a couple different options on how you wanna go about this. I would recommend putting some of that adhesive on the bottom of this, just so when you attach it, that stuff dries like super glue, so you want a little bit of that. But I'm gonna set this on top here and then kind of guide you through. You've got a couple different options for screws. So you could go up through here and attach it to your genstone in the shiplap, or you could even, if you've got, uh, we have a hollow base, but if you don't have a hollow base, you could go straight through the top, use your touch up and paint 
or your touch of caulking and your paint and basically put that on there and forget if the screws even exist. Thanks so much for watching today. As you can see, column projects are super easy to install, but they can be a little bit tricky to figure out your materials list. So I would definitely recommend getting with a project coordinator for this project. As always, feel free to call the number on screen if you have any questions or want to get a project quoted for yourself. 